Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Well, Katrina. Yes. Some people will say, don't go. Don't go what? You don't go. Don't you go. don't need to go. Don't mess with it. It's a hassle. Mm -hmm. But we're here to say. Go. Go. That's right, guys. Yeah. Welcome to the channel, our everyday getaway. I'm Chris, and this is Katrina. We It's coming up on that time, that time of year. It is. We're starting to turn the corner, guys. So it just seemed like yesterday you guys were wrapping the RVs up, mm -hmm. you know, winterizing it. But here we are getting ready to enjoy the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, which is in Tampa. And I like to call it the Tampa RV Show because I can't help myself. It just makes it easier. And I know there's a separate Tampa show later, one that's smaller. But so if you hear me throughout this video say Tampa RV Show, you guys know what I'm saying. Right. You get the gist. But there are some people who will say, don't go. You shouldn't go. Yeah, why is that? Why would you say such a thing? Who are these people? I don't know. Who are they? This will be our second mm -hmm. show. Right. Our third, but our second as far as a, a YouTube content creator. Correct. Yeah. We Correct. went to the 2020 RV Tampa show. <laughs> We went, Get it out. we just want as consumers to hang out. We had a great time. Last year we went as a content creator mm -hmm. and once again, we had a great time. Mm -hmm. So this will be our second show and we're going to share with you some of the things you should consider if you are going to the show and we think you should go to the show. Absolutely. We think you should go to the show. That's right. Now the uh, Florida RV Super Show is at the Florida State Fairgrounds in Tampa. Tampa, Florida, yes. That's right. And it runs from January 17th, which is a Wednesday, all the way through Sunday, January 21st. That's right. Right. Now, the show runs from Wednesday to Saturday. It runs from 9 to 6. And then on Sunday, it runs 9 to 5. And the price of admission is $15 for adults. Children under 16 are free. And they do offer discounts for senior citizens Wednesday through Friday. That's right. $2 only, off. only Wednesday through Friday. So don't show up on the weekends Expecting trying to a get discount. the discount. Right. Now, if you're a first responder or military, you get a $2 discount throughout the entire stay of the show. So obviously $13 a person. Yeah. A, a lot of times you hear people talk about which show is better, the Tampa show or the Hershey show. Katrina, do you have an opinion on I that? I have an opinion, yes. Of course I have an opinion. Can you share it with the class? Yes. So we prefer the Tampa show. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed the Hershey show. We were there this year, and it was it was nice. We had it, was, a good time. it was very nice. Yeah, we had a great time. But uh, the Tampa show, in my opinion, is just much more going on, especially the vendors. Oh, my gosh. I was overwhelmed, actually, the first one went here with the amount of vendors, but now... I look forward to it because I know this year exactly I'm going shopping. We need quite a few little little things for the RV. Well, a, a few things to keep in mind. You don't need to go to the Tampa show and even the Hershey show just for the sole purpose of buying an RV. No. Don't no. think that you, oh my God, you're only going there. You can go to the Tampa show to take some seminars. Yes. They offer some fantastic seminars. Everything from how to take care and run a generator. Mm -hmm to the proper maintenance for your um, diesel uh, pusher. So if you have a diesel pusher, they just offer, and it, actually they another seminar they're, uh, they offer is trip to Alaska. To Alaska. Yeah. So that's something I really should take the time to go in and hang out and, and absorb that information because as you guys know, we're going to Alaska this year. So just for the seminars alone, you can learn an amazing amount of insane. information just insane. and another thing that's to your advantage is the vendors the vendors that are there whether it's gas stop rv life more ride the amount of vendors that are there to offer you products and services can help you out and in your travels and usually they do have some special deals for the show that you may not get after the show's over so take advantage of that and there's things you're going to see that um you didn't even know probably that you wanted or you needed lots of um Oh my gosh, resorts are there pushing their products with some yeah. free stays and things like that. So campground memberships, all of mm -hmm. that. So it, it is an opportunity, especially if you're starting out in this RV world, this RV life. If you're a full timer starting out, so there's so much information there that, that could help you in your day to day travels. Don't think that you got to go to shop for an RV. For the, and not only that, just the entertainment. It's, it's a really good, fun 
environment. There's a lot going on with the entertainment. It's almost like a like state fair. Yeah. That kind of atmosphere. Yeah. Yes. Less less a, what? A less, state less fair the, minus the rides. Less the rides and the farm animals. Yeah. But it's kind of got that vibe and that yes. atmosphere. And let's be honest, it you're in Florida. Mm-hmm. And as you guys know, what better place to be during the winter? than in Florida. So there's kind of a different vibe and a different feel to it than Hershey. Hershey was great. I enjoyed Hershey and I look forward to going back. But when it comes to the Tampa show, being in the sunshine and the envi- that environment, mm-hmm. it's just a really great, good time. Mm-hmm. Another thing you want to keep in mind and, and consider is the weather. Now, we've done three shows. Oh, I'm sorry. We've done two. We're getting ready to do our third. And it's always been, we've been very fortunate. It's always been very nice. We didn't even have any rain. Maybe a little bit last year. The last day, a little bit of um, misty kind of, but it was great. We yeah. Great so uh, from what we understand, mm-hmm. people will tell you that the weather can vary from cold and wet and rainy yes. to in the 90s. So that's one, uh, it's another thing you want to keep in mind. If you're going to go to the show, make sure you're prepared for any kind of weather. So whether you want to bring your rain gear or whatever. There's also um, a lot of YouTube content creators there. So if you have some favorite channels that you would love to see, there's probably a good chance that you're going to see them there. And a lot of them are doing meet and greets. Yeah, the meet and greets are available. It's an opportunity and it's a chance for you to meet your favorite Mm -hmm. YouTube channel. <laughs> so if you're looking to meet us uh, and hang out, you know, feel free to stop and say hi. We love it. We we'll, encourage it. We'll be Don't walking be shy. around. We'll be there every day of the show. So we'll be walking around. So yes, if you see us, please stop us. We'd love to meet you. Say Do hi. Do not hesitate yeah. for the slightest second. No. Come on over and say hi. It's all good. So that's another thing. Well, that can... But hold on. If if you don't see us at the show, we are hosting a meet and greet with five other channels. Yeah, we're going to be doing a meet and greet on Wednesday the 17th. Wednesday the 17th. At the Bootleggers Brewery. In Tampa. Uh, There's two different time frames. It's a $5 fee to get in, which is all donated to charities. Um, Which, did we talk about, like, who's going to be there with us? Well, we're going to have the Wayward Wags, the Brazen Brits, Downsizing Makes Sense. Mm -hmm. The Roadsmiths, and this is our adventure. Exactly. Very All of good. us are going to be there hanging out. Two sessions. You can come to the early session or the late session. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a blast. There'll be food there and drinks to purchase. So yeah. it should be a Plus nice some giveaways. Evening. A lot of giveaways. So that's nice. another good thing about the Tampa show. Not just the area. You know, you got a chance to go to the area and to go to restaurants and local attractions and everything but it also gives you a good chance to meet some of your favorite youtube content creators right now they do have overnight stays at in your rv you can stay overnight at the rally or they have rallies Uh, and overnight stays right um at this point it's sold out but think about that next year if you want to plan on going i think they start selling them um sometime in october but you have to go to their website. Yeah, make sure you out. check that out. They go quick this year. They went within a matter of minutes. And they also cut back on the number of spaces this year because they had some issues last year with the electric. But so if you're an RVer and you're thinking, we're already thinking about 2025 as well, right. making plans for that. And another thing you could do is you could check out your local hotels and you know try to find a room there and stay for a couple of days. Once again, the price of admission is 15 bucks. Yes. And that's a two-day pass. Should you use the two-day pass? I would use the two-day pass. Of course I would, yes. Yes. And here's the thing. If you're going to the show to and you're thinking about buying an RV, you're going to need a couple days to check everything out. Now, when Katrina and I went to the show for the first time in 2020, we spent two days just looking at Class A motorhomes because we were class a fans at that time that's what we were interested in so we never got a chance to look at the fifth wheels no. we never got a chance to look at the travel trailers we just didn't we were so the focused on B, that the class b's the vans none of that so if you're Pop-ups. going to if you're going to the show thinking about buying a rig um if, if you're looking at doing a fifth wheel but you haven't picked a particular manufacturer give yourself a couple days to look at everything sure. if you already know a manufacturer you're interested in, say Alliance, then you should be able to knock it out in a day. I would think. So. I would right. think so. So take yeah. full advantage of those two days if you can. And not only that, even if you spent the first day just looking at rigs, spend the second day just walking around, taking in 
the atmosphere and the entertainment well, environment? I would, I would also say, if you're going to purchase, just from our experience being there the last couple of years, Sunday, if there's a rig there that you liked and it's available still, probably your best day to get your best deal. Okay. There's a lot of extra sales on Sunday. Now, I don't know, uh, we don't know whether it's better to buy your rig at the show or from a dealer. I think that can vary. That's up to you, how you work it. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are people who've gotten a better deal at a, a deal. Some people are better making deals than others. Yeah. So, so there, there is that opportunity to, you know, work out a deal to show. But it's just, you know, what's great is that you can go to this show and you could look at everything from pop-up A-frame trailers mm -hmm. to million-dollar Prevo and New Well rigs. As a matter of fact, last year, we got our first chance to look at a new well oh, firsthand uh, you know we are able to go amazing. in and check it out and you can go Gorgeous. in and check out and it, it may be the only chance you get to walk in a rig a million dollar rig just to check it out just for fun because mm -hmm. it's kind of cool to see how the upper half <laughs> lives and enjoys the finer ends of life but it was really interesting so i think you get a better opportunity and another thing you can buy real quick of going back to the admission yeah. You can buy tickets to the show, the day of the show, unlike the Hershey show. Which is online. You got to buy it online. So yeah. if at a last minute you're like, hey, I can go to the show, you can buy it. A parking, I think, is 10 bucks per car, 15 bucks for RV. So if you want to drive your RV over to the parking area, you can uh, park your RV there. You can't just park it day. overnight just, for the, just for the day. Right. Yeah. So. It's just a great time. It's just like, so we're getting to that point in time now where we start turning the corner and we're starting to think about the camping season. And I think this kind of kicks the, the season off, don't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think we all look forward to this. Even if you can't go and you can watch online, a lot of channels are putting out a lot of videos showing you some great models. Um, it's just all good. So uh, another thing to keep in mind, pets are allowed. Mm -hmm. Now, we won't be taking Tucker because Tucker has a tendency to get really excited. Around. He, may, he may jump on someone <laughs> just because he wants to say hi. So you know, try to remember that. that when it comes yeah. to your, your dog. I know everybody thinks your dog is the greatest, but if your mm -hmm. dog doesn't handle the, that atmosphere and other dogs as well, and gets really excited. Maybe you might want to. Yeah, even if even if they're not like aggressively mean, like even if they just want to bark, or like you said, like Tucker, like he doesn't have some great manners at Tucker. Another thing to remember, this is a lot like for those of you who are sports fans and you've been to a lot of sporting events. You know, once you get into the stadium, you're going to pay a lot more for oh, food and drinks. So that's a good point. you can bring in snacks and food like bottles of water. So you may want to. Bring those with you and inside, you know, they have plenty of food there, similar to what you would see at a state fair or a county fair. Just again, it, very expensive. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Also, remember, you're going to do a lot of walking. It's crazy, huge amount. So make sure you're wearing something comfortable. Give yourself plenty of time mm -hmm. to relax and enjoy the environment. If you need assistance with like a scooter or wheelchairs, they do have those available to rent. Um, I would look into those beforehand. Um, they do run out, so make sure you check that out if that's something that you need. Yeah, and we are really looking forward to being there. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to seeing you guys. We hope to see you guys there. We've said this before. We mean this sincerely. Please, if you see us there, please stop and say hi. We love meeting you guys. We love hanging out with you guys. Katrina and I will just be walking around, taking it all in. Every day. We don't really film any kind of content, RV tours and stuff a like that. Bit. Just a little bit. We just enjoy the atmosphere because we just love it. We're, we we approach it more as not, you know, creators as we do. Just. We'll still go in all the RVs. Yeah. We'll go in and walk around. We just don't do a lot of filming. We may see one special one that we really like, but um, for the most part, we're just there to have a good time. Yeah, and if you see us there, remember, I got the shirt on, We the RVers. If you guys are interested in this shirt and this merchandise, please go to our everydaygetaway.com. Go to the merch section. You can get your, uh, you know, our We the RVers merchandise. Great for Red plus, Friday. Plus our, yeah, Red Friday. That's right. Red yes. for Red Friday. Check that baby out. That, look, that looks sweet. 
You know it looks sweet. Don't hesitate. It's right there waiting for you. <laughs> we the RVers, we believe in a strong community. Yes. We believe in sticking together, banding together, supporting one another. Faith, we, family, freedom, all that good stuff. Faith, family, and freedom. I yes. like that. See, I, I like that. And mm -hmm. remember, hashtag positive RV living. And we really, really seriously, guys. Oh, and we your, hope... your new hat's pretty cool. Huh. Hold Where's on a second. Your hat? My hat. Where's my hat? You have it over there. How about that hat right there, guys? We the RVers. Sweet. Yeah, looks good. Nice. We have two different styles. Yes. Yeah, they look great. But once again, we believe in being, you know, a, a strong community, sticking together, supporting one another. All of us, I don't care who you are, where you come from, we're RVers. And we just love this community. We love this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And we think you should. I don't care if someone tells you don't go. I don't care if you like the Hershey show better. It's all good. But Go there if you've never been. Try to make it and, and enjoy the environment and the atmosphere. If you're in the area and you can make it, we'd love to see you there. Absolutely. And there you have it, guys. Just a quick video to show you, tell you guys about the things you need to look out for at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. I just call it the Tampa Show. It's much easier. The Tampa RV Show. Yeah. Okay. There you have it, guys. If you all like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, any day you can get away. It's a great day. It, it's a great day. You guys take care, and we hope to see you in Tampa. See you guys. Take care. Bye.